Oh gosh, well, you know, uh, I'm I just feel so blessed that I'm able to incorporate with what I love to do with what I believe. You know, I I certainly back in the day when I was hired to play the angel on Touched by an Angel as a woman of faith to be able to deliver a message of God's love. At that time, 26, 27 million people tuned in every week to hear that message. I'm a little worried about Carrie and Tim. They don't look at each other the same way anymore. Something's bothering you. I have been struggling. Carrie. I have built my whole world around you. Tim is in love with another woman. I keep going over it in my mind, and I have no idea how we got to this point. Ladies looking beautiful today <laughs> and radiant, so. <laughs> Thank you. Excited to talk to you both um, about this show. I'm going to start with you, uh, Roma. This is sort of a familiar territory, I'd say, for you. You've done a lot of um, faith-based and uh, religious films and, and shows. Uh, does this feel kind of natural to you to, to be in sort of this space? Well, this is the space that I choose to be in. You know, when I first started uh, uh, my company, Light Workers, I was made a commitment to tell stories that were uplifting and inspirational in some way. Our mantra was always, it's better to light a candle than to curse the darkness. So yes, this is what I want to be doing. And I'm very encouraged as I look around the landscape of Hollywood entertainment, that there seems to be more uplifting programs available now than maybe there were 25, 30 years ago. So I think, you know, that's always a good thing. But over the years, Jim, so many people have said to me, we loved you on Touched by an Angel. Why can't we have a show like that back on television? So when I first started reading uh, the Baxter series, because I came to know about this series as a fan, Mm -hmm. And it was only through my love of the story and falling in love with the family. And I couldn't put the, the first book, Redemption, down that I reached out to Karen and said, Karen, please, would you trust me with the option rights to make your book series uh, into a TV series? And um, and thankfully she did. And we had a God moment over that because of something that her father had told her, Karen. Yeah, it's amazing. Back when I wrote the first book, Redemption, I gave it to my dad and let him read it. He was my biggest fan and he's in heaven now. So I know he's looking down at this moment, but wow. um, he said, Karen, everyone is going to love this so much. You need to get it to that touch by an angel woman, Roma Downey. She's amazing. She would make this into a great TV show. And of wow. course I was, you know, I, I was a young author in my twenties and I said, well, dad, I mean, you know, do you have a number? Because I wouldn't know how to reach her. And so again, only by divine, you know, providence would it be possible for for God to then 15 years later, I get a call from Roma saying, can I make your books into a TV show? And, you know, now to get to think that on Easter weekend and on March 28th, everyone will get to see the Baxters worldwide on Amazon's Prime Video is just, it's a dream come true. Mm -hmm. Karen, I'm going to stay with you here. Uh, when when you're writing the novels, did, did it ever occur to you that this could be it? put into a TV show and how is it now that all the, the written words kind of are, are becoming real? You know, you can see it now. Um, tell me kind of your, your initial, you know, kind of thoughts and feelings when you were putting out the novels versus now having it kind of visually come to life. These characters now are living and breathing people. Or this, this beautiful full circle moment is what's happening right now. Because when I write a book and I've written, you know, 70 novels. So when I write a book, God puts it like a movie on my heart. It's very visual. I feel like the first reader. I don't even feel like I'm making it up. Oftentimes I'll be crying or laughing. And my husband kind of gives me a strange look like, you know, you're making it up. I don't feel like I'm making it up. So then to see it on this side now, to see the Baxters coming out on Easter weekend, honestly, the most amazing thing about that is that I am now seeing the movie from my head, from my heart, playing out on the screen. It's so much like what I saw. And, you know, Roma has said before that, you know, casting is an interesting thing because no one's going to necessarily know exactly what that cast looks like. Partly mm -hmm. because in my books, I kept the descriptions very vague. I wanted you to see the Baxters the way you saw them. Now you're going to get to see them the way we see them collectively, Roma and I. And it's mm. really important to me that people will then go, okay, 
whatever I thought they were or however I thought they looked or talked or whatever, this, this is the Baxter family. And it's so true to the books that it's just a complete circle. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's pretty evident that you, both of you ladies are women of fate. Um, I want to ask about that. How, how much does it play in not only in your work, but like everyday life? What does faith kind of mean to you individually? I'm going to start with you, um, Roma, first. Oh, gosh. Well, you know, uh, I'm, I just feel so blessed that I'm able to incorporate with what I love to do, with what I believe. You know, I, I certainly... Back in the day when I was hired to play the angel on Touched by an Angel as a woman of faith to be able to deliver a message of God's love. At that time, 26, 27 million people tuned in every week to hear that message, you know, and I was very aware and I would pray before the scene where there was always a moment of including that there, there was a God that he loved you, wanted to be part of your life. And, and before that scene, my prayer was always less of me, more of you. And that prayer remains mine in all of the work that I do, that there would be less of me and more of God. And that, and that a show like the Baxters can be used. It's not a preachy show. I don't think you have to be of faith to enjoy the show. It's mm -hmm. an it's a big invitation. It's a family drama. There's a lot of uh, intricate storylines that will appeal to people. But I think for people who do share our faith, to be able to see those values reflected on the screen in a church going family, but to not have the project be preachy, is um, you know is very powerful to see and very gratifying. Um, to, to be able to be part of the, the team bringing this to life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think for me, you know, I, I became a, a person with a, a relationship with Jesus in my mid-20s. So I know I knew what it was like. I was a reporter. I was, you know, talented and smart and quick. And I was in L.A. And I knew what life was like before. And I know what it's like after. So I start my days with just a communication, a conversation with God and you know, I, I, Jesus is my personal savior. So to me, you know, I don't know how people get through life without that. He doesn't have this. People often think, you know, oh, oh, you know, God, I mean, he's going to just be pointing a finger at me and angry at me. And that isn't true. He has his arms open wide and whatever you're going through, whatever you're doing, whatever you've done, he loves you. And it's just, it's an invitation. I think the Baxters, you know, they, they love deeply, but they have deep secrets too. But at the end of the day, their arms are open to each other and, you know, at different times to God, sometimes not, sometimes they're running away from God, but the parents stay strong. Like mm -hmm. Elizabeth um, and John have this romantic, beautiful family love. It's so, it's so, uh, such a model for their kids that at the end of the day, they want to follow what their parents are doing. They want the faith to be their own, but they want to follow them. And Roma playing Elizabeth Baxter is a dream come true because see, we share this faith and we're friends at a deep level. So for me, I, in a perfect world, I would cast Roma Downey as Elizabeth Baxter. And that's what we have. Oh, well, and it was so fun for me, Jim, to step back in front of the camera. You know, I've been primarily producing these last years and to be able to step back in front of the camera to play Elizabeth Baxter has been very fun. And uh, and then that theme of mothers and daughters, Elizabeth Baxter is parent to five adult children on the series, four mm -hmm. daughters and a son. And my daughter, my own daughter, real life daughter, Riley, uh, plays the youngest daughter, Erin, Erin Baxter. And so there's a nice uh, mother daughter theme there. And then Cassidy Gifford, who plays the girlfriend of Luke Baxter, uh, the young actress, Cassidy. Her mom is Kathy Lee Gifford, who also mm -hmm. steps in to play a role in the show. So we've got mother daughter themes here in this family drama that has been made for families to watch this Easter season on Amazon Prime. There you go. There's the pitch. I mean, sold it. Uh, well done, ladies. Thank you for sharing uh, your own truths and um, your messages along the way. And uh, great job. And uh, continue working together because it seems like it's working. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.